Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about the uh, the U.S. Mint sales figures for their gold and silver eagles. And that's one thing I like about the U.S. Mint is they do have up-to-date numbers as far as their mintages goes. I do see that the Perth Mint does this as well. They do have a, a nice update for their, their gold and silver figures uh, for each month. But uh, unfortunately, the Royal Canadian Mint is uh, kind of lackluster when it comes to that. They don't really have uh, up-to-date mint numbers for their Maple Leafs or some of their other products. But yeah, like I said, the U.S. Mint does do a good job uh, going over each month talking about what their uh, their sales figures were. So obviously these are the U.S. Mint sales and these sales are going to the uh, the authorized bullion dealers and then you know there is that next extra step before the uh, the silver and gold gets to the uh, you know the stacker or the investor but uh, yes these are the uh, the sales numbers here and I have been going over them each month when they're released uh, last month was uh, all right for gold gold went up but silver went down uh, and this month it uh, both are in the uh, the downward dip both have sort of uh, dropped off a little bit in April. In the past couple of times, I've uh, you know talked about an article that goes over the numbers, uh, but today I'm just going to go on to the U.S. Mint site and it shows the uh, the numbers here instead of uh, having that uh, a little article attached to it here. So just uh, putting up a screenshot of it here, I'm going to start off to the far left where it uh, shows the gold numbers, and as you can see, January. Uh, was the second highest, March being the uh, the best month so far this year in 2022. But uh, you can see that uh, it did drop in April to its lowest total, its lowest sales total of 2022. Um, and uh, that is for the one ounce coin. And then moving into traditionally what is the worst selling fractional coin, which is the half ounce coin. And uh, that's not just for the US Mint, it seems like uh, all fractional, you know, if you look at the fractional Maple Leaf or the fractional Kangaroo, uh, the half ounce size is traditionally the worst selling of the fractional set. So for January, it was 45,000 coins sold. And then we move on to March where there was 5,000 coins sold. And then April, it dropped down quite a bit, uh, you know, 2,000 uh, 2, coins actually, down to 3,000 for, uh, for April. And then obviously across the board, you know, March was 20,000 for the quarter. Then it was 14,000 coins sold for the, uh, the month of April. Then we move on to the 10th, which is the, uh, the second best selling uh, coin. And you know it is like that for like I said with all the other gold coins like maples and kangaroos, you do see that trend where number one is the one ounce, the tenth ounce is number two, and then and the uh, third is quarter, and then finally the the worst selling seems to be the half. And here where is it? The tenth went from where is it? Seventy five thousand coins sold in March down to twenty five thousand coins sold in April. And then you look at the total number of ounces for April is 88,000 ounces and the uh, total for the actual coinage sold is uh, 122,500 coins. And now we're moving into uh, silver here and you can see that uh, outlier at the top at the beginning of the year of January with uh, just over 5 million uh, of the American Silver Eagles sold. Uh, I believe that was the highest month of January since uh, 2017 I believe it was. And then we can see the, uh, the the drop, the big drop down into February to 1.5 million. Then March for it was 1.08 million, and now it's dropped out of the 1 million mark, and it is at the 850,000 coins sold. And just if you're wondering, they do have some totals for uh, platinum. There were no numbers uh, or sales figures for March. You can see that platinum has sales figures. They do have sales figures for uh, February and March. They do not have sales figures for April or for January. And uh, they do have sales figures for those two months for the one ounce, but they don't have any sales figures for the 10th ounce coins. So yeah, that was just a quick little thing that I want to do here going over the uh, the sales figures. Like I said, each month they update it, so I do want to do a, a quick little video talking about what the numbers say. And uh, yeah, obviously we can see that silver has been consistently dropping down with the, uh, the, the sales that the U.S. Mint is making to the bullion dealers. And uh, you know, gold did have that uptick in March, but we can see that it did fall right back down in April. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, May brings. And uh, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments if you are uh, picking up American Silver Eagles or gold eagles, I do know that the premiums are a factor on these, and uh, it is one of the main reasons why a lot of people haven't been picking up um, any of the American eagles recently. 
But you know, that is just some people I have uh, seen in the comments, some people that are still picking up both the silver and gold. So either way, if you're not picking up, if you're taking a break, or if you're still grabbing them each month, I would like to hear from you just to uh, to see what you guys think about the, uh, the uh, sales numbers here for the US Mint. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.